C, we did a status check on your vehicle performance, and it's running clean as a spire sky. Look after your hover. after you. That's what I always say. Good work, kid. Like I'll have to go on foot. It's pretty far from a parking bay. I will stay here and play the waiting game. What's the waiting game? I guess how long it takes for me to get bored. Then, when I get bored, I start the game again. Right. I'll try to be quick. Hello? Oh my god! Who are you? I haven't seen you here before. Come and speak to me. Why are you shouting so much? I'm not shouting. Not really. I could shout if you want. I just want to talk to you. Fine, just keep it down. Who are you? Oh my god. I'm Susie, and I love meeting new people. I'm so, so happy right now. I live for this. 
You live for talking to strangers? <laughs> yes! You know introverts and extroverts. You're an introvert, right? There's no such thing. It's all just nonsense. Like star signs or blood types. But some people like to be more outgoing and meet new people. And some people like to stay home and read. Everybody likes those things at different times. That's just being alive. Well, I don't agree. You know extroverts. Well, I'm an extrovert. I was quiet and shy, but I got a neural mob that makes me super confident. Now, I can't stop meeting new people. That sounds awful. <laughs> I can't stop. Well, I mean, maybe I could help. I could... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really dull. I need to talk to someone new. Uh, could you move along, please? Everything your baby's body needs, from disease prevention to neural implant virus protection. Here's what I could offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. What are you looking for? Thanks. Hey, come back any time.
Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Here's what I can. Thanks. I look forward to seeing. Nice to meet you, lady. Thanks for this. Y'all come back.
being stolen. Canis, did you get bored? No, it is true. I am being stolen. Shit, really? Lock the doors. They are already inside. Tell them to get out. Threaten them. Pretend you have an anti-theft subroutine. Uh, they can hear you. Why am I on speaker? Camus? I am taking off. I am frightened. Deactivate the Hava. Can't. <laughs> Hacked. Hava Automata eject custom personality Camus data drive. Eject? What if I fall into the ocean? Then you'll float, I think. You think? What if I get... Damn it! Eject Camus data drive now. Drive deactivated and ejected. Camus, Camus! Shit! 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 Think, Rania. Think. The drive. It should be registered to me. I can track it on my com. Camus, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to dry you off, I guess. You can't talk to me right now. You probably can't even hear me. But if you can, I'm going to fix this. This isn't going to be a pleasant phone call. Control? Control, can you hear me? I read you, kid. Uh, you okay? Yeah. No. Look, I have some bad news. You lost the Hava? Yes. How did you... We track it. Listen. This one ain't on you, kid. Don't sweat it. it happens all the time. What? Seriously? <laughs> Hava jacking? Oh yeah. Surprised it hasn't happened already. So, am I fired or not? Kid, we got insurance. Uh, you weren't hurt. But more important, you didn't lose a package. But what do I do without a Hava? I'm not gonna lie. We got a pretty generous repair-replace policy. I'm not saying we're happy when some slum ganger steals a Hava that's two months over its predicted expiry date. Well, actually, I am gonna say it because it's true. Past its expiry date? How much of a junker was I driving? Hey, don't worry about it, kid. It got pinched before it fell out of the sky. <laughs> Best outcome for everyone. Not for me. Not for my... What the hell am I supposed to do now? Relax. You're real close to one of our suppliers. I'm sending a nav point for Grimm's Hava Mall. You ain't gonna find a Spire limousine from old Grimm, but any Hava he has will be better than what you were in before. Choose anything you want on us. Just tell Grimm that Cloudpunk sent you. Control out. Hold on, Camus. I'll get you back as soon as I can.
doing? You're looking good. Windy out there? Oh, that's just how your hair looks. Beautiful. Now, I got a brand new open top malichka for you. I know what you read about them, but it's all wrong. These models don't go on fire half as much as people say. We got customer reviews up in the high threes on this one. What I want to know from you is what are your reasons for not buying this hover? You got none, right? I'm gonna put you down for one, and I even got a discount for you because I love you people from out in the east. You know, with the music and that funny thing you do with the chanting. <laughs> Beautiful. You're gonna love this one, unless you want something more upmarket. In that case, I got you. I'm from Cloudpunk. You're supposed to give me whatever I want. Jeez, lady, why didn't you say? I was using my best pitch on you. Yeah, have a look around. Then when you decide, just hop in. Cloudpunk pays me either way. So if you'll excuse me, I got real customers to deal with. Yeah, thanks for all your help. new Hava Automata. Please say your name, sir. Install new Automata custom personality. I have it on a data drive. That will be 1,500 limbs for activation. Charge it to Cloudpunk. How long will it take to... Ah! Camus, are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. What happened? I was stolen. We bailed you out on the data drive and I found you in a puddle. Then Cloudpunk sprung for a new Hava. It feels different, bigger. I can think more clearly. This is, yes, this is an improvement. Seems like it. I thought it would take a while to activate you. Did it feel like you were gone long? Everything was black and I was floating. It was quiet. Well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Being bored is better than being stolen. Uh, I wanted to ask a question. What is it? What happened to Mom? You've been offline for a while, Camus. Mom isn't around anymore. Do you really want to know what happened? Will it make me sad? Yes. 
Being a car is fun, but I am excited to get a new frame. Do I have to be a dog again? Well, you don't have to be. You could be a cat. Oh, no. I thought you would say that. What about another animal? A bear or beep, beep. Why are you beeping? We are being called in by Cloudpunk for a HOVA overhaul. I thought Control said we could choose any HOVA we wanted. Are they checking up on us? I don't know. Beep! But we have a nav point, and beep! The beeping is not stopping. Fine, let's just get to the nav point. What's wrong? Chemist controls are frozen. And the doors are locked. We can't even land. It hurts. They are holding us. It's... Your vehicle is currently being locked down by CorpSec Authority based on a data access violation. Please take your hand off your controls and deactivate your automata. I am fighting. Ouch! Uh, I can try to... It's no use, Camus. You'll just overheat your processor. Shut down for now. But... It'll be okay. Just go offline. Custom Automata Personality Camus, now offline. Your vehicle will be set on an automatic course for the nearest CorpSec debriefing center. Your next of kin shall be notified. If you have any corporate connections or exacerbating finance options available, now would be the time to notify us. I've got no money and no friends here. Very well. You will now be... What the hell? Good to see you're still moving, Rania. I've bailed you out here. I just used up some serious clock cycles on you today. My top hacker rubric just bought you some time. Those corpse set network protections were no match for his skills. You better move fast, though. If you can get to me in time, I might be able to clear out this mess for you. Why are you doing this? I've taken a liking to you. Now hurry on over. You must be worried about how you can pay me back for this. But I got good news for you. I thought of a favor you can do for me already.
Thanks. Hey, come back any. Brought me more juice? No, Lomo is expecting me. No juice, no jazz. I'm not here for the jazz. Unless you give me a reason you should get in, you ain't getting in. Does Lomo know you're dealing at the door? Uh, I'm not dealing. Just go in and keep your mouth shut. Where are you? I still don't feel good. Are you in danger? Can I help? Is it dangerous? Yes, it's dangerous. I'm about to meet the most feared criminal in this city, and I have to watch what I say. I need to look cool, so stop calling me on the comm and asking if it's dangerous. Try to keep calm. Uh, yes, I am calm. Very calm. Just wait for me. I'll sort this out as best I can. Then you should be unlocked and we can get out of here. Anya, good to see you. What's going on, Lomo? How did I get away from Corpsec? Why is more relevant to your current situation? You hacked Corpsec? Not personally. How can that be? Corpsec nets are way above the hard lines we can access down here. This might not be obvious when you look at your surroundings, but I'm a man with significant resources, Rainya. I can afford to purchase enough clock cycles from high-level mainframes to get work done when needed. Though, even I had enough second thoughts when I considered the costs involved to save you. But, of course, anything for a friend. I even put Rubric on the case. You've heard of him, of course? I guess. I have a lot of names. You'd be familiar with a few. Rubric will even be helping with the favor I mentioned. Do you remember the favor? What do you want? I need someone I can trust to take a package through a null gate. Why not just let Corpsec arrest me? Null gates scan a vehicle at the molecular level. That's the point. You can't smuggle anything through. You have the shape of the problem in your mind, but you don't see the details. A null gate can't be fooled, but the person operating it can. You don't need to know the technicalities, Rania. Suffice it to say, there are patterns which bring us to a higher state of consciousness. But there are also patterns which inhibit our thinking. These recurring, distracting patterns have been cropping up for the Corpsec gatekeepers across all their media feeds for some time now. You hypnotize them? That's an old-fashioned way of looking at it. Let's just say their attention has been diluted and they are more likely to see what we want them to see. I must be honest, Rania. The chances of you making it through are not 100%. What percent are they? About 42.5%. Before you despair, Rania, know this. If you make this delivery, I'll be in a position to pardon you of your crimes. 
A clean slate is tempting, no? And if I walk out of here? Oh, of course. I will completely understand. It is risky, I admit. But we will keep your vehicle. Scrap it for parts. You see, Kopsek are looking for it anyway. And though we won't tell Kopsek where to look for you, I'm afraid they won't struggle to find you. Your offense is not severe enough to send you to the colonies, but you won't work again. I'll find some way to make money. No doubt, Rania. I applaud your entrepreneurial spirit. But while you are looking for gainful employment, how long until the debt corp find you? How do you know about... Fine, I'll do it. Splendid. Now, about this package. They don't tell you what's in the package at Cloudpunk, do they? I'll tell you, though, if you ask. What am I delivering? You're delivering hope, Rania. That package contains a potential cure for Pallet 3.0. That's a computer virus, right? I've said all I can say. Get running, little rabbit. Here's what I can... Thanks. I look forward... What? Thanks. Hey, come back in. Nervous. Are you nervous? I am feeling very nervous. I am very surprised you are not nervous right now. Please stop talking. I will stop talking about how nervous I am now, even though I really am very nervous. We'll be fine. The hacker guy rubric says the corpsec officers won't even notice us. I didn't like him. Me neither, but we have to do this, Chemis. This guy Lomo seems to be a big deal. I don't think we can afford to let him down. Maybe even after we do this favor, he will ask for even more favors. Camus, sometimes you can say something clever, but it doesn't make things better. Do you understand? No. It's fine. Let's just get through the Null Gate, then we'll see what happens. I'd like to come through. You know this road leads to the hollows. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, you're gonna have to give me a good reason for coming through here. What's your business? I'm meeting a friend. What's your friend's name? Banks. R Rob Banks. Why does Rob Banks live in the hollows? He doesn't live in the hollows. We're just meeting there. 
Why would you choose the meat in the hollows? We're musicians. Practice space is expensive, so we go out into the wasteland where we can play without disturbing anyone. What do you play? Flute. It's right here, see? Hmm. I've never seen one for real. It looks expensive. So can I go through, or...? Hmm. Well, I guess it should be fine. I'll tell the Nullgate operator to ignore the flute when we scan you. You know trade into and out of the hollows is forbidden, right? We'll let you off with the instrument, but you can't take anything else in there. This all you got? No contraband? Only the flute, nothing else. Okay, drive on. We don't really know Rob Banks. No one does. He's fictional. Which instrument does he play? Whichever you like best, Camus. I like viola. No one likes viola. Please stay for a moment, miss. We need to talk with you. Oh no, it has all gone wrong. Shush, Camus. Keep your cool. I have Senior Sector Officer Rio on my comm. He says you went through a security checkpoint earlier today. He wants to know why you're traveling around the city so much. Is that illegal? Look, miss, I just work the gates. But I have to tell you that attitude won't go down well with Officer Rio. Best just be up front and tell us. Do you work for an illicit memchip manufacturer? Street racing team? An underworld gang named Block 4-0? Or a delivery company like Cloudpunk? Please, tell your boss I've never heard of any of them. I play private concerts and I'm very busy, so I travel around a lot. One moment, please. Yes, sir. Yes, private concerts. She has a flute. Yes, I saw it. I'm about to check the scan, sir, but you called me before I looked at it. I know it's my responsibility. All right, sir. So? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Um, I'm sure it will be clear. I'm in kind of a rush. I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Officer? I'm just going to check the scan, then you're clear to go. Camus, I think Rubric's plan worked. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Let's go. Do you think the Corpsec man will be okay? I don't know, Camus. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Camus. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious.
delivery point is up ahead. Oh no, I can't get through. It's fine, Camus. I'll walk from here. Setting down. So you're reading me? I put the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay. Where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. It locked after you left. There is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago before it became ruins. Are we in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. Terminal. Let's see. Maybe I can just type in, give me a ticket out of here. Rania. Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. This is too strange. Are you the computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. Sure, whatever. Can I get out of this car park now? I am not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Navalis? Oh, yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis. Is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed, patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change, the distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be, and soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. The gate is open. What, really? Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me.
You got a ticket? You are shaking. Are you okay? It's fine. It's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? If only. I, I can't drink anymore. Can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries, making waves, surviving. It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hollows and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but... They really mean broken AI or the city algorithms. Damn, even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get some good reviews or something? A few. Can you tell me who? I am not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you... mediocre. That's about what I expected from them. What's this fancy job, then? You're meeting a CEO. Delivering to the Spire. Wait, what? Really? Really. We get something to eat. We? Well, you. But I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. 
There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles, and I suppose voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel... dimmer, flickering. Like my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the Hava frame? No. A little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though? Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Not bad. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. Can I ask about food again? Go ahead, Chemis. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone too, if you don't like to go outside because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow!
What are you looking for? Thanks. Hey, come back anytime. Welcome to my home. Thank you. Don't let You, I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah, still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents, the city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well, that means trouble. So get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No. Blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well, it's too late for you to do anything anyway. Hey, nice to meet. Thanks for this. Y'all come back.
Camus, can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's, uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crews say this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android, or even a person. If they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. It says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Korra? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. It feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Here's what I could... Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Hey, Camus, you see that bird? I believe it is a falcon. His name is Norman. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer.
I have your delivery, consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me, code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was going to tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm going to keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? Is pineapple so bad? No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There is a sign over there. Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. to know what you changed. Not much, just a few words. I want to know the nature of the prank. Which words? I replaced organ with pineapple. Oh, this is amusing. I, I am amused. Do you really think they will get deliveries of pineapples? Oh yes, vendors know how much they can get selling to the spire. They will get pineapples, but they did not want pineapples. This is a very high quality prank. It's petty and childish, but thanks, Chemis. Let's just hope we don't get caught and fired for it. Hey, hi. Hel hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloudpunk? No, sorry. I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloudpunk. I, I just want to ask something. And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. Not Mr. I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You delivered to the Spire, right? That's your question. Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO of Entex says that all corps are on a spending freeze till the end of the day in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nivalis before? Nope. That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea. So... Yes, they ordered pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. 
Makes them less likely to sell me out to Corpsec. Thanks, Cloudpunk. job came up. Uh, there's not much pay in it, though. I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of novellas. What? Really? Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novala city limits. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloudpunk HQ, and I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizich was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizich knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. 
They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizic locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time. And more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. differences in intelligence between the Spire Dwellers and those from the slums. Debate me. Me? No. Oh, why? Are you afraid? I'm Glimbo, and I'm the most skilled debater in the whole of Novalis. I am a verbal martial artist and cannot be defeated. Fine, you win. No, 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 no. That's not good enough. I will find a subject you cannot resist debating with me. Hmm. Men are clearly superior to women in strength as well as skill. All right. Nothing? Okay. Uh, the Eastern Peninsula is home to savages who eat their own children. I know I did. Delicious. Mm, androids don't deserve their rights. They have no soul. Do you? Of course I do. We all do. All but those who were not born of other humans. That is why androids deserve no right. Ah, you see how I hook you on my snare? Now nah, we're debating. Put forth your points and I shall defeat them. I have a job, and if I don't do it, they fire me, so I really don't have time to debate you. Then I win. Ha <laughs> ha, you concede. Androids are not real people. Women are inferior to men. Savages from the East eat babies. Rich people from the Spire deserve their wealth. I win. Accessing the deep net without a CorpSec data pass is forbidden. What are you looking for? Thanks. Hey, come back in.
We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus.
you the delivery stooge? I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? Welcome to your poverty, Safari. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stand. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? Yeah. I wasn't the first, though. Old Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam planes with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the Far Rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. You will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything, and all of us. Cora is the provider, and the caretaker, and the disciplinarian. Cora holds out a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds wood, sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your... Salvation, and right now Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. 
We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Quarter willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Ronia. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile and temporary. I was sent to deliver supplies? Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years. Decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It It's just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, thank you kindly.
Hello, I'm here too. They already called me on the old CB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the talk of the town, lady. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is going to get charted. Go, quickly. And don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay. Good luck. Why is he not moving? Oh no, Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aww. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the Hova. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered Hova. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I uh, left off the... Investigator, she'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a PI, but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold, I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad, it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. 
I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Ashta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker. The story was true. Fine. Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. 